Well, in Arkansas, we don't usually worry about the chickens getting too cold in their hen house, but it's supposed to get down to one degree Fahrenheit this weekend and be windy. So since they're not used to the cold, we're a little worried about them. So we're gonna, we scrounged up some of this insulated plastic from my sister. And uh, it's kind of ugly because it, it got ruined with the sun. It's like a half inch wide. Yeah, but it's yeah. insulated. And so what we're planning on doing is just cutting little pieces to fit in the windows. And we'll leave one up high for ventilation just to block the wind off of them. So it won't be quite so cold. So that's the plan. I think I'll go get my table saw. Make it straighter. I'm gonna try this out and I'm gonna drill I'm gonna drill a hole right there and then we're gonna slide this in to the hole and the pressure off this should just keep that right in there. That's what our plan is. <laughs> but we we'll change them sometime. That's our test plan. I'm gonna test one out and see if it works. Yeah. But this stuff is pretty rigid so I think it'll work. Yeah. And make it super easy to put them up and down. This drill might not be big enough. Sassy Sassy get out of there. What are you doing? You don't get in the chicken house. Yeah, you want them pretty tight, so he got a drill bit that was like virtually the same size yeah. as the... Uh -oh. Virtually. Virtually. Right. And you do want it to be able to stick out a little bit, so... A leaf in there? Yeah. Uh, this would be a lot prettier if you had new stuff, the new insulated plastic. But look at that. Look at that. And the That's ring has got a little bit of tension on it, so it yeah. spreads out the. So go in there out. and blow on that, see if you can blow it out. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I think the wind's already doing a good enough job of that. Oh, yeah. Looky there. That was Cinda's idea. Yes, it was. Well, that way I can take them down without having to go get a drill. And I'm all about easier. Yeah. Uh -oh. Indy, Indy sees some birds. Go get him, Indy. He's on. Him and Sassy are on hawk control. He trained Sassy. Yep. The chickens are out, so she's on the job. Good job, Bindi. When I wake up at night, I think about stuff. <laughs> and it usually doesn't work, so I'm quite pleased that this worked. And it's easy. Well, we're picking up eggs. And this is January, what, the 8th? Something like that? Yeah. It's the coldest part of our year. I mean, the shortest days. And these little girls are still laying really good. And we don't have a light on or nothing no, either. No, we don't. Just the natural do light. 11. 11 of them. 14 well, hens. We got 11 eggs. And that's been we pretty get, regular almost every day. We get 13 sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes, so. we, sometimes a couple days we've had, we only got nine. Yeah. But most generally we get 11 or 12. So they're happy with it. But then we got this up. We gotta peel some of the paper off. Our, our, uh, my brother-in-law and son of sister had some of this big sheets of it, and we talked about it earlier. But uh, we're gonna try to get some of that plastic off. 
But boy, it sure closed it in. I mean, we closed in all of the windows except for the little vent at the top. Yeah, right above it, right there. And the access door for the, where the chickens come in and out of the coop. Yeah. And uh, it really blocks the wind down. But as you can see, it's still pretty bright in there, even with this white film on it. So mm -hmm. if you had it clear, it would be really nice and bright for them, which is good because then they'll, you know, hopefully keep laying. But anyway, and he's also, of course, since it's supposed to get cold, he's had to undo the automatic water. So we've got one heated water and another Dell water. There's our heated one. Yeah. And uh, these here, I just flipped upside down undone my hose and then blew the lines out because it's going to be getting cold here in a few days anyway it's all working really good i've been super happy with the breed of birds we got these are the um sapphire gems we have nine of those and five black australorps and they all seem to get along pretty well they're nice and healthy. We haven't had too much troubles with them. Really good foragers. Excuse my messy garden. I've got some work to do out here. But they're really good foragers. And the, uh, the black ones are supposed to help keep the hawks away. I don't know if that works, but we haven't had any hawks. But we do have our dogs that are really good at scaring off hawks and vultures. So, but, uh, but they're really working the garden over. I'm going to have to do something when I start planting. <laughs> I won't have much left. Oh, well, it's supposed to rain all day today, but look what we got instead. Our first snow here at the campground. It's probably not going to stick very long. But for right now, we're getting some snow. do any kayaking today. A good looking man. What's that on your face, sir? It's called fur. <laughs> it's warm. You look warm. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. <laughs>